when I come back from, uh, from work in the evening, I say, okay, today I think I changed a little bit their life. I help them and I change a little bit their life. What's it like working with service to athletes and I guess Patrick as well? Since I've been with Wasalem and Patrick's been there, um, it's been amazing to to have his support and just see his his passion, how dedicated, committed and passionate he is about what he does. Patrick hasn't only just made me shoes, he's he's crewed me at races like Western States and, and UTMB. When I think of Salomon, I, I think of, of Patrick. All right, Patrick, we're here in Chamonix beneath the Mont Blanc. It's a beautiful day for UTMB week again. How long have you been coming here working with the athletes? Uh, it was uh, almost 15 years. Okay, 15 years, a lot of experience. Another group of athletes you worked with, the Hopper team, disabled athletes. I guess a few, three years ago now, was during COVID, you got a call from Guillaume Mezenc. Uh, yeah, it which was. Which is very different from what we're doing. Yeah, it was, during, it was during the COVID and uh, Guillaume told me, uh, I have a super interesting project for you. It's uh, to work with Airbus and to develop some uh, carbon blade for people who are amputees. Okay, so totally different than what you've ever done in the past. Yeah, totally different, yeah. <laughs> but okay. very, very interesting. Yeah. I remember the first time I met uh, Franco. I told him I, I have to discuss something with you. Franco, it's super important. I just need support. And he told me you can come when you want and I will give you all the support you need. Jérôme is at the origin of the project. So Jérôme is a triple amputee. He has lost his two legs and one arm. He met Benjamin, who is working for Airbus, and he was asking, can you make a prototype of prosthesis for me to run, because it costs a lot of money. I put 10,000 euros on the table. I don't know if it will uh, be working or not. At the beginning, it was just to help students to push their project, but it was only a school, uh, school project. I have a quick feel from Mr. Patrick Lake. Dès the premier appel, you sens que you tombes sur a mec hyper humain. Quoi. Je dis c'est une boîte énorme mais c'est un mec qui est hyper humain et tu te rends compte qu'une boîte comme ça, ils ont clairement pas que ça à faire. Quoi. Un étudiant qui m'a présenté un projet, je pense que c'est très rare que, que tu aies une réponse aussi rapide et, et telle quoi. And uh, working with them, doing some prototypes, we just saw that it's super interesting. Less than one year later, we have some very good prototypes and three of the students decided to, to create a startup. You see, this is a blade. This is a carbon leftover from uh, from Airbus, and uh, the in fact the, the goal was to develop a sole, a rubber sole, to put on uh, on the blade. Boris, I met him not at the beginning of the project. We went to uh, Albi near uh, Toulouse to do some tests with uh, 15 uh, amputees on a track and field uh, place. Everybody was in charge of one amputee and I was in charge of Christophe Debar who is uh, working for Airbus and who is amputee also. And at the end of the day, I, I start to discuss with Boris because I show them he, he was uh, testing uh, the outsole, not on the track and field, but he went on uh, some uh, trail just nearby. Then we started to work together to upgrade the outsole to be able to run on uh, trails. And it was a uh, very good help to, uh, to push a little bit the project and do, to make it also more uh, versatile. C'est euh, de regagner de la liberté, c'est de, de se relever, de pouvoir euh, regagner euh, le mouvement, de regagner le déplacement, de retrouver son autonomie. C'est de la liberté. C'est de la liberté tout simplement. Step by step, we organize a, a big project in the Parc National de la Vanoise to bring uh, six amputees to a 3,000 meter summit. And in, in fact, I think it was a booster of the project. It's embarked in a truc, un truc fou, and et, um, and then my impression was to make people in échec. En fait. The purpose was to show to people who are disabled that it's possible to do this kind of project. Because two of them, it was the first time they went to a high, high mountain like that. 
Uh, Sarah, she, uh, she had a car accident and uh, she met Boris during the re-education. I think it was the best opportunity for her because if she didn't meet Boris, maybe today she will be depressed. Boris told her, um, you have lost your leg, but it's not a big deal. You will see what you can do now. She just went from being really uncomfortable on the blade to walking and jogging and like dancing across the deck of the refuge. <laughs> There is a lot of uh, prejudice around uh, disability and if we manage to, to remove this, I think more people will believe in themselves. They showed us that it was possible. In fact, they showed us that they could do it. And it's just too good because now the limits are not there. It was a moment you cannot imagine how much emotion it is. Très vite, des projets de compétition sont, se, sont, euh, se sont manifestés de la part des amputés et puis même de, de ceux qui nous soutiennent et qui nous accompagnent euh, aussi bien des, des gens comme Patrick Leck euh, chez, les, chez Salomon et, et, euh, et toute l'équipe. I guess the whole thing came to fruition at the Maxi Race recently. We got a bunch of them out on course to run together. Yeah, we've got uh, all the team together. It was very, very good for the project to okay. show that the blade is able to, uh, to perform in different uh, conditions. I did a briefing just before the race and uh, to see uh, the motivation of uh, all the people, it was, uh, it was super nice. On est parti, il est 2h55. Euh, bah voilà, bah, on est prêt. Elle est difficile, on va dire qu'on est prêt. Patrick va arriver et puis euh, on va lâcher les chevaux. Moi à la fin j'avais plus d'énergie. Et j'avais plus du tout la force pour, pour contrôler cette jambe. C'est pour ça que j'en ai, ai vraiment bavé là sur les, les 5-6 derniers kilomètres. Là c'était. Euh, je suis vraiment. Je suis vraiment allé à chercher, je suis chercher loin là. Je, je suis vidé. de la Maxi Race, c'est le premier événement qu'on fait vraiment tous ensemble donc avec l'association la, avec Level Up et toute la team Inclusion Salomon. À part quelques-uns, on commence dans ce sport-là et on partage encore plus, je pense, cette envie de, de montrer que c'est possible bah, aussi à nous-mêmes. quoi. C'est une chance incroyable d'être soutenu par Salomon euh, là-dessus. On est, on est très très bien équipés. Je fais ça, je vois le film sur mes propres deux pieds et je vois Sarah danser And uh, as he, he was a dancer before to be uh, amputee, he contacted uh, Hopper to test the blade. And uh, since he tried it, he told me it, it changed completely my life. And he was so happy, he told me it's the best day of my life since I'm amputee. Quand je, je sais qu'ils sont des fois impressionnés sur des vidéos de danse que j'ai pu faire là actuellement, ça me donne envie d'en faire encore plus et, et je sais que je peux faire encore mieux. Donc, euh, ce n'est que le début. <laughs> Ça me motive vraiment à porter ma prothèse au quotidien, de le, la forme, le, le design qu'elle possède. En fait, je, je suis différent, donc pourquoi essayer de cacher ça derrière un jean ou autre Enfin, moi, c'est des, des problématiques que je trouve. Si on a quelque chose d'unique, de cool, autant le montrer et, et le mettre en valeur. Et, et Salomon euh, m'aide à développer ce genre d'idées. J'ai plus que hâte de travailler sur ces projets avec eux. Today, I'm in charge of this team, so I need to, uh, I need to check uh, what they can do during the season, to organize everything, and uh, it's really interesting. Yeah. La dernière compétition du jour Avant mon prochain départ, les voici, les voilà Avec la team, j'ai vraiment l'opportunité de me dépasser, c'est ce que je, ce que je cherchais aujourd'hui. We, we want to develop some, uh, some stuff for uh, people who are uh, Skiing, cross-country skiing, okay. uh, snowboarding, and uh, we already have some projects. So it'll be all the sports that Solomon plays in right, right exactly. now. Exactly. That's pretty good. We're going to have a little journey session, Valtor. Let's try the new matos, Salomon. Let's see what it gives. Oh, that's so 
we collaborate with Salomon to develop a um, food prosthesis just for snowboarding. So I'm really glad to join Salomon in this adventure. Years of this project, it's a long way from UTMB with uh, Francois, Ryan, Courtney of the world to working with with um, disabled athletes. What's it been like for you to do that? To uh, in fact, every morning when you wake up, you know why you will come to the office. You will change the life of, uh, of people.